Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. Uh, this is a really exciting one because I finally got the glitter poly gels from Model Ones and I'm really excited to swatch them and see what they look like. Um, I've been seeing the adverts on Instagram for these and they look really good on the adverts and I've also got the Model Ones, um, the like glitter gels and they have the same names as two of these so Oscar's Skirt and Tiffany Pink. Um, have the same names as the glitter gels and so I'm going to compare them to them and see if they look as good. I'm, ass I'm assuming that it's the same glitter that they've used so it'll look the same. Um, so I'm just going to swatch all these for you today. Um, I can't wait to start using these. Um, I need to put these on my nails at some point because they do look amazing. Um, I can't wait to use them. So the first one I'm going to do is the Oscar skirt one. So I'm just going to squeeze that out and have a look at it oh look at that isn't it gorgeous so it looks fantastic out of the tube it was easy to squeeze out as well i was expecting it to be really hard to squeeze out because it's got the glitter in so it's going to be thicker um but the one thing that i really want to test um is how how smooth it is for um actually using it and also how clear it is because that's the thing between um, gels and poly gels. The poly gels aren't usually that clear. So there's not really much point having a glitter poly gel if it's not that clear. Because you're obviously not going to get the full effect of the glitter. Um, so I'm just pressing this into this swatch stick. And it is really easy to move it around. Um, that's why I like Model 1's poly gel because it is quite soft and it moves around really easily. So I was impressed with that. I did put it on a little bit thicker, um, sorry, thinner than what I wanted. So I do go in with a little bit more and just put a bit more in. Because there isn't um, a lot on the side. So I wanted to just add a bit extra on. So this first one I'm just doing um, in real time to show you how long it took me to put it on but then after that I'm going to speed it up because I'm just doing the same process for the other ones. So I can already see the hollow glitter, it's definitely clear this poly gel, it's not, I don't think it's crystal clear like a gel would be but it's clear enough to see the glitter through it and I am really impressed, I'm so glad that I got these. Um, so just a bit of information about the poly gels, when I got them I bought these, um, paid for them myself um, and it was when model ones was having the christmas sale and so these were i think they were 16 dollars 50 for the set of four um, which is good because um you know they work out about four dollars something each which i think is really good for a 30 gram tube which is what these are so i'm just showing you the the gel the glitter gel which is called the same thing it's called oscar skirt and if you look at it it is the same hollow glitter that they've used and it is a tiny little bit cloudy because it's poly gel and obviously not builder gel or you know top gel or anything like that that it's it's sitting in but i was still really impressed with it so i'm moving on now to the pink one this is called tiffany pink and this one i have to say was different than the first one it was really hard to squeeze it out of the tube and then when I am using alcohol on the brush, um, don't mind my brush by the way, I did fix it after this because it's looking really tatty. Um, but yeah, it was quite hard to move around. This one is a lot thicker than the other one and it took a lot of messing about with it to actually get it to move. So it's mo this one's more like, um, it's more solid than the other one. So the same thing with this one, I did have to put a little bit more in and when I tried to squeeze it again, it was so hard trying to squeeze it out. I mean, I don't think that's a problem to be honest because at least when you're using it, you could put it on all of your nails that you wanted it on and it's not gonna go anywhere. I don't mind having a bit more of a, a firm poly gel. Um, so that wasn't a problem for me, but I just thought I would let you know because there is a massive difference between the consistencies of these two gels. Um, these two poly gels so this is the glitter gel i'm just going to show you what that looks like in the pot it is a gorgeous gorgeous pink holographic glitter gel so obviously this poly gel is has the same name so it should look similar and it does 
So yeah, you don't need to worry about the poly gel being really cloudy or anything like that because I did put this on quite thick just to show you um, how good it was. Okay, so that was the pink one. This is now purple ring, this one's called. And I wasn't sure what this one was gonna look like because there's different pictures on the Model One's website. One shows it a bit, a bit lighter than the other one. But on the video, it looked a bit dark. So if you look, there is hollow glitter in there. That is beautiful. Um, and it is quite dark. So what I did with this one, um, I did put some on and I put more on because I had to put extra in the first two. I just put more on in this, in this one, but I ended up taking out quite a bit of it because I didn't need that much. You do only need um, a thin layer of this one because it is quite dark. If you use it too dark, you're not going to see that glitter as well. Um, but this one was like the Oscar skirt one, if not a bit better. It's, um, it's very, very easy to move around. You can see how easily I'm doing it, how soft it is. So this is completely different to that pink one. Um, and it is a beautiful purple colour. I really love that one. So very, very impressed. It's hard to show you on camera exactly what they look like because the hollow glitter keeps making the camera go out of focus. But I was really impressed with this. Love that purple one. So that is that one. So we are going to move on now to the final one. And this is called Glitter Princess. So this is another chunky glitter one. This is more clear than the others. Um, by that, I mean there is less glitter inside this one. It's not as tightly packed with glitter um, as the other ones are. And the glitter in this one, it's like sort of peachy pink, the glitter. To be honest, this isn't one that I would have chose to buy on its own. Um, it did come with the kit, so obviously that's why I've got it. Um, and I do really like it, so I'm, I'm quite surprised because looking at it um, on the pictures, I didn't think I'd really like this one as much. But I do really like it. I mean, this one would be really nice over some colours. So if you just put sort of a thin layer to cap a colour, like a gel polish colour, this would have a really nice effect, I think. So I am going to try that in some future videos. So yeah, that one's really nice. It's got like bits of silver and purple and things as well. So on the website, it looked like just a peachy one, but there is different colours in it. So here they are all together. What do you think? I absolutely love them. I'm so impressed with them. So yeah, this, this was a bit of a Christmas present for me to myself. <laughs> so yeah, I am really happy with them. So yeah, they are beautiful. So if you would like to get these as well, I will leave a link to the Model Ones website. They aren't available um, on Amazon, not in the UK anyway. I'm not sure if they are in the US. I think at the moment they are only available on the Model Ones website. So I will make sure that I link that. So I hope you like these swatches um, and I hope that this helped you um, if you want to choose to buy them or not so that you can see exactly what they look like and how they perform. So as usual, thank you so much for watching. Thank you to all my subscribers. I really do appreciate you watching my videos. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time. Bye.